Hey everyone! Welcome back to CPCW Live. Today, we're diving into a major issue that's been buzzing in the tech world. The NVIDIA RTX 5090 and RTX 5090D GPUs are reportedly bricking after driver updates. Let's break it down! Recent reports from users in China and beyond have highlighted a critical problem with NVIDIA's latest flagship GPUs. After installing the newest drivers, many RTX 5090 and RTX 5090D owners are facing black screens, unrecognized devices, and even complete system lockouts. Users have tried rolling back drivers, resetting BIOS, and adjusting PCIe settings, but the issue persists. According to internet information, the problem seems to stem from driver or BIOS compatibility issues, especially with older motherboards. Some users speculate that the GPU's full Gen 5 PCIe compliance might be causing signaling problems. Even switching to PCIe 4.0 hasn't fixed things for everyone. Interestingly, the issue isn't limited to the Chinese RTX 5090D variant. Standard RTX 5090 users are also reporting similar problems. NVIDIA has acknowledged the situation, stating they're investigating the reports. But with no official fix yet, gamers are left in limbo. Meanwhile, some users are pointing fingers at the 16-pin power connectors, similar to those that caused melting issues with the RTX 4090. While there haven't been widespread reports of damage yet, it's a red flag NVIDIA needs to address. So, what's next? NVIDIA's response is a good start, but affected users need clear solutions. Whether it's a driver update, BIOS patch, or hardware recall. If you're considering buying an RTX 5090, you might want to hold off until this is resolved. Commandos report on duty in April. Commandos, origin scheduled for release on April 9th via Steam. This prequel takes you back to the early days of World War II, where six elite heroes unite for a series of daring missions. In Commandos, Origins, you'll command a legendary team comprised of the Green Beret, the Sapper, the Sniper, the Driver, the Marine, and the Spy. Over the course of more than 10 intense missions, experience how these unique operatives first join forces to form the iconic unit that defined tactical warfare. Developed by Claymore Game Studios and published by Calypso Media, the game is the result of over four years of meticulous design, development, and community playtesting. Studio director Jurgen Ruswig emphasizes that every element of the game has been honed to bring you an authentic and immersive stealth experience. And here's something to get excited about. Commandos. Origins isn't just about solo play. It also features a two-player co-op mode, playable either via split-screen locally or online, making it perfect for teaming up with a friend. Plus, if you're eager to dive into the action now, a demo is already available on Steam. Warning. Seagate hard drive fraud tied to crypto mining. We are emerging that used Seagate data center grade hard drives are being sold as new. An investigation has traced these drives back to Chinese cryptocurrency mining farms that once mined Chia during its boom, with many drives logging between 15,000 50,000 hours of prior use. Although these drives look untouched externally, fraudsters have reset the internal smart logs to mask their true history, deceiving buyers across Europe, Australia, Asia, and Japan. Seagate now claims that the affected units were sourced from secondary channels, not directly from the manufacturer, and has launched a full investigation. The company even introduced a tool using farm metrics, which can reveal a drive's actual operational history. Retailers caught up in the scandal are offering refunds or replacements, but the issue has sparked serious concerns over trust and warranty validity. If you're planning to buy Seagate drives, make sure to verify their usage history and purchase only from authorized distributors. Stay tuned for further updates on this developing story. Reduce 96% usage. Why most RTX 50 GPUs still have so few VRAM? Why NVIDIA gives non-flagship RTX 50 GPUs only 8GB per 16GB VRAM in the 4K high refresh rate gaming era? Today, we're diving into one of the answers. NVIDIA's New Neural Texture Compression, or NTC. In this video, we'll explain what NTC is, review the benchmark results, and then share a broader perspective on how this fits into NVIDIA's overall strategy. Especially when you consider the ongoing debates around RTX 50 series VRAM limitations and the emerging threat from competitors like DeepSeek. NVIDIA's Neural Texture Compression is a new approach that leverages the AI capabilities built into modern GPUs. 
Instead of using conventional block-based texture compression techniques, NTC uses small neural networks to compress and then decompress textures on the fly. In a beta demo run on an RTX 4090 at 1440p and 4K, two operating modes were tested. One called NTC Transcoded to BCN and another named NTC Inference on Sample. In the first mode, textures are pre-transcoded to a standard format, BCN, which reduced the texture footprint by about 64%, dropping from 272 megabytes down to 98 megabytes. The second mode, Inference on Sample, takes things further by only decompressing the exact texels required for each view. This mode achieved an almost unbelievable reduction, around 95.8%, cutting the memory requirement down to roughly 11.4 megabytes compared to conventional methods. However, these savings come with a trade-off, a minor performance hit. While average frames per second drop slightly, the 1% low FPS values in some scenarios, especially at 4K resolution, suggest that, for most gaming applications, the impact is minimal compared to the benefit of significantly reduced VRAM usage. Many gamers have been vocal about the VRAM shortfalls on non-flagship models of the upcoming RTX 50 series cards. With the increasing demands of 4K gaming, there's a growing concern that current VRAM configurations simply won't cut it. In this context, NTC appears to be the perfect answer for consumers. By dramatically lowering VRAM requirements without sacrificing visual fidelity, NVIDIA seems to be addressing these consumer worries head-on. What makes this technology particularly interesting is how it ties into NVIDIA's suite of AI-driven enhancements. Most notably, DLSS 4. When combined with advanced upscaling and frame generation, NTC ensures that gamers enjoy a full, uncompromised gaming experience while keeping the cost of VRAM under control. This means that even lower-cost, consumer-grade cards can deliver high-resolution textures and detailed environments, crucial for immersive 4K experiences. Now, let's talk about the broader market strategy here. It's clear that NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, has a dual-purpose plan. For gaming enthusiasts, the combination of DLSS 4 and NTC allows consumer-grade GPUs to keep delivering excellent gaming performance at a lower production cost. Essentially, NVIDIA is using these technologies to both reduce manufacturing costs and ensure that the gaming experience remains top-notch, an approach that can drive higher profit margins. But what about productivity users and AI developers? Many professionals rely on high VRAM capacities for tasks such as video editing, 3D rendering, and AI training. By limiting the VRAM on consumer GPUs, NVIDIA is effectively segmenting the market. This means that while gamers may benefit from cost savings, those with more demanding workloads could be forced to either buy the more expensive professional-grade A-series GPUs or even rent cloud solutions like NVIDIA's H200 or B200 AI systems to meet their needs. This deliberate throttling of VRAM on mainstream cards appears to be a strategy to steer professional users toward higher margin products. But here's where the unexpected twist comes in. The emergence of competitors like DeepSeek. Recent developments, such as DeepSeek R1 and recent USACE S1 model follow the same tech route to distilling, which uses low-resource distillation methods to refine AI models, challenge NVIDIA's market segmentation. If smaller, more efficient AI models can be developed with minimal resources, it might force NVIDIA to reconsider its strategy. DeepSeek's technology route, which replicates and improves upon existing methods with far lower costs, brings an element of unpredictability into what seemed like a perfect plan. In summary, NVIDIA's neural texture compression is an exciting glimpse into the future of GPU technology. For gamers worried about VRAM limitations in 4K, it seems to offer a near-perfect remedy by combining cutting-edge AI with traditional rendering techniques. Yet, the strategy also exposes a potential market divide that could compel professional users to look elsewhere for the computing power they require. What do you think about NVIDIA's strategy? Will technologies like NTC and DLSS 4 keep consumer GPUs competitive, or could emerging solutions like DeepSeek's low-resource distillation append the market? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth tech insights.